Have you ever pondered the significance of the last digit of your birth year? Imagine if this seemingly simple number could unlock hidden truths about your personality, life path, and spiritual journey. Today, we're embarking on a deep exploration of the mystical meanings behind the last digit of your birth year, uncovering insights that span from wealth and relationships to health and spiritual growth. This journey promises to reveal a wealth of wisdom, offering guidance that can enrich your understanding of yourself and your life. In our world, numbers are more than mere symbols for counting their gateways to deeper truths. Throughout history, civilizations have imbued numbers with spiritual and mystical meanings, using them as tools for divination, guidance, and self-reflection. This exploration isn't just about numerology. It's a journey into a timeless wisdom that connects us to the universe's underlying order. Whether you're seeking to understand your life's purpose or looking for ways to navigate challenges, the final digit of your birth year offers clues that can illuminate your path. As we explore the meanings behind each final digit, from zero to nine, you'll discover how these numbers influence various aspects of life. By the end of this journey, you'll have a deeper understanding of how your birth year shapes your experiences and how you can use this knowledge to enhance your spiritual journey. Stay with us until the end, and let's unlock these mysteries together. Let's begin with the number zero. In Buddhism, zero is often seen as a representation of emptiness, or nayat. This concept refers not to a void, but to the understanding that all phenomena are interconnected and lack inherent existence. Those born in years ending in zero often embody qualities of both leadership and humility, a reflection of the middle way, which avoids extremes and finds balance. Spiritually, zero is seen as the number of potential and choice, representing the void from which all things arise. It suggests that those influenced by this digit are visionaries who perceive the interconnectedness of life. They may be naturally inclined towards practices like meditation, which help them connect with the deeper nature of reality and cultivate a sense of inner peace and awareness. In the context of karma, individuals with zero in their birth year may be seen as having a unique opportunity to shape their path through mindful actions. Their journey involves understanding the cyclical nature of existence birth, growth, death, and rebirth, and using this wisdom to guide their decisions. By embracing change and new beginnings, they can become powerful catalysts for transformation, both for themselves and others. Moving on to the number one, we find a strong emphasis on individuality and leadership. Those born in years ending in one are often pioneers, embodying the Buddhist principle of right effort in the Eightfold Path. This principle encourages individuals to cultivate wholesome qualities and to be proactive in their spiritual practice. The number one is synonymous with beginnings and the courage to forge one's path. Spiritually, it represents the journey of self-discovery and the pursuit of personal empowerment. Individuals influenced by this number are often drawn to teachings that emphasize the cultivation of mindfulness and self-awareness, key components of Buddhist practice. They seek to understand their true nature and their place in the universe, often engaging in practices that promote enlightenment and inner peace. In relationships, those with the digit one in their birth year value independence, resonating with the Buddhist idea of non-attachment. They seek to build relationships based on mutual respect and understanding, free from clinging and grasping. Their journey involves balancing their strong sense of self with the ability to connect deeply with others, fostering relationships that are both supportive and liberating. Professionally, individuals with the number one often find themselves in leadership roles where they can manifest the qualities of mindfulness and compassion. They are not afraid to take risks and are usually at the forefront of new trends and ideas. The number one encourages a path of self-discovery, leadership, and spiritual growth, 
reminding these individuals to embrace their unique qualities and use them for the greater good. The number two brings us to themes of wealth and abundance, often viewed through the lens of right livelihood in Buddhism. This principle emphasizes the importance of ethical conduct and earning a living in a way that does not cause harm. Those born in years ending in two are believed to have a natural affinity for attracting prosperity, not just in material terms, but also in the richness of relationships, experiences, and spiritual insights. The number two is associated with balance and duality, symbolizing the harmonious interplay between different aspects of life. In Buddhist teachings, this is akin to the balance between samsara, the cycle of birth and rebirth, and nirvana liberation from that cycle. Those influenced by this digit often seek practices that promote inner peace and balance, such as meditation and mindfulness. They understand the importance of balancing worldly success with spiritual growth, ensuring that their pursuits are aligned with their values. In relationships, twos are known for their nurturing and empathetic nature, embodying the qualities of metta or loving kindness. They value deep, meaningful connections and often act as the peacemakers in their social circles. Their journey involves learning to balance their giving nature with the need to receive, fostering relationships that are mutually fulfilling and grounded in compassion. Professionally, individuals with the digit two excel in collaborative environments where their diplomatic skills can shine. They are team players who bring people together to achieve common goals often pursuing careers that allow them to contribute positively to society. The number two encourages a life of balance, harmony, and abundance, reminding these individuals to embrace their compassionate nature and strive for equilibrium in all aspects of life. The number three invites us to explore the realm of relationships and social interactions. In Buddhism, the number three often symbolizes the triple gem, the Buddha, the Dharma, the teachings, and the Sangha, the community. Those born in years ending in three are often charismatic and sociable, thriving in environments where they can connect with others and share their insights. Spiritually, the number three is linked to creativity and self-expression, akin to the Buddhist practice of right speech. This practice involves speaking truthfully and harmoniously, using communication as a means to build understanding and community. Individuals with this digit are often drawn to artistic and creative pursuits, using their talents to inspire and uplift others. They may engage in activities such as writing, painting, or music, finding joy and fulfillment in expressing their inner worlds. In relationships, threes are known for their warmth and enthusiasm, often serving as the glue that holds their social circles together. They bring joy and positivity to their interactions, embodying the qualities of joyous effort in their endeavors. Their journey involves balancing their need for social interaction with the need for solitude and introspection, a balance that is essential for maintaining their emotional well-being and ensuring that their relationships remain healthy and supportive. Professionally, Individuals influenced by the number three often excel in fields that require creativity and communication. They may be found in roles such as public speaking, marketing, or the arts, where their ability to inspire and motivate others is a significant asset. The number three encourages a life of creativity, communication, and connection, reminding these individuals to embrace their social nature and pursue their creative passions. Let's pause here for a moment. Take a deep breath and reflect on the numbers we've explored so far. Do you recognize any of these qualities in yourself or in those around you? If so, share your thoughts in the comments and connect with others on this journey. What insights have you gained about your personality and life path? Write down one insight and how it resonates with your experiences. Continuing with the number four, we find a strong connection to health and well-being, echoing the Buddhist emphasis on right effort 
and right mindfulness. Those born in years ending in four are believed to have a natural inclination towards maintaining good health, often exhibiting a disciplined and methodical approach to their well-being. They understand the importance of a balanced diet, regular exercise, and adequate rest, and they often prioritize these aspects in their daily lives. In spiritual traditions, the number four is associated with stability and foundation, representing the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path in Buddhism. It symbolizes balance and groundedness, encouraging individuals to cultivate mindfulness and awareness in all aspects of life. People with this digit are often drawn to practices that promote physical and mental well-being, such as yoga, meditation, and holistic health practices. They may also have a strong interest in understanding the interconnectedness of the body, mind, and spirit, exploring how each aspect influences overall health. In terms of personal health, those influenced by the number four are encouraged to listen to their bodies and prioritize self-care. Their journey involves recognizing the signs of imbalance and taking proactive steps to restore harmony an approach aligned with the Buddhist practice of mindfulness. This focus on self-care extends to their professional lives, where they may excel in fields related to health and wellness, such as healthcare, fitness training, or holistic medicine. Their practical and disciplined nature makes them effective health practitioners and wellness advocates, helping others to achieve optimal health. The number five introduces themes of spiritual growth and transformation, resonating with the Buddhist concept of impermanence or anicca. Those born in years ending in five are often adventurous and curious, seeking new experiences and insights as they navigate their spiritual journey. This number is associated with change and freedom, reflecting a dynamic approach to life that embraces exploration and innovation. Spiritually, the number five is linked to the concept of transformation and the five aggregates form, sensation, perception, mental formations, and consciousness in Buddhism. It symbolizes the integration of the physical and spiritual realms, encouraging individuals to explore their inner worlds and cultivate awareness. People with this digit are often drawn to practices that emphasize personal growth and transformation, such as meditation, shamanism, or travel. They are natural seekers, always looking to expand their horizons and deepen their understanding of the world and themselves. In relationships, fives are known for their open-mindedness and willingness to embrace change, reflecting the Buddhist teaching of non-attachment. They value freedom and may seek partners who share their love of adventure and exploration. Their journey involves learning to balance their need for independence with the desire for deep, meaningful connections, creating relationships that are both liberating and fulfilling. Professionally, individuals with the number five often find themselves in roles that require adaptability and innovation. They may thrive in dynamic environments where they can explore new ideas and challenge the status quo. Their ability to think outside the box makes them valuable assets in fields such as entrepreneurship, technology, or creative arts. The number five encourages a life of exploration, transformation, and growth, reminding these individuals to embrace change and pursue their spiritual and personal development. As we delve into the number six, we encounter themes of compassion and community, central to Buddhist practice. Those born in years ending in six are often naturally empathetic and understanding, possessing a strong sense of compassion and a desire to help others. They are frequently drawn to roles that involve healing or counseling, where their intuitive abilities and caring nature can flourish. Spiritually, the number six is associated with harmony and balance, particularly in the context of relationships and community. It symbolizes the nurturing aspect of life, encouraging individuals to cultivate love and compassion for themselves and others. 
People with this digit are often drawn to spiritual practices that emphasize connection and empathy, such as energy healing, meditation, or community service. They understand the importance of building a compassionate community, reflecting the Buddhist principle of Sangha, or spiritual community. In relationships, Sixes are known for their supportive and nurturing nature. They often act as the emotional anchors in their families and communities, providing support and guidance to those around them. Their journey involves learning to balance their giving nature with the need to receive, ensuring that their relationships are mutually supportive and fulfilling. This balance is essential for maintaining their emotional well-being and avoiding burnout, a lesson aligned with the Buddhist teaching of the Middle Way. Professionally, individuals influenced by the number six often excel in fields that require empathy and communication, such as counseling, social work, or healthcare. Their ability to understand and connect with others makes them effective healers and advocates, helping to create positive change in their communities. The number six encourages a life of compassion, balance, and harmony, reminding these individuals to embrace their intuitive gifts and use them to foster healing and understanding. Let's take another moment to reflect. How do these descriptions align with your experiences or those of people you know? Share your thoughts in the comments and let's explore these connections together. Consider writing down an affirmation that resonates with the qualities we've discussed and use it as a daily reminder of your strengths and potential. Continuing our journey with the number seven, we explore themes of wisdom and introspection, deeply rooted in Buddhist teachings. Those born in years ending in seven are often deeply introspective and analytical, driven by a desire for deeper understanding and spiritual growth. This number is frequently associated with seekers and mystics, individuals on a quest for knowledge and wisdom. Spiritually, the number seven is linked to the concept of spiritual awakening and enlightenment, akin to the Buddhist pursuit of nirvana. It symbolizes the search for truth and the quest for deeper understanding, encouraging individuals to explore their inner worlds and connect with the divine. People with this digit are often drawn to spiritual practices that emphasize self-discovery and inner peace, such as meditation, contemplative prayer, or study of esoteric knowledge. In relationships, sevens are known for their depth and introspection, valuing meaningful connections, and often drawn to partners who share their intellectual and spiritual interests. Their journey involves balancing their need for solitude with a desire for companionship, creating relationships that are both intellectually and emotionally fulfilling. This balance is essential for maintaining their emotional well-being and ensuring that their relationships remain supportive and enriching. Professionally, individuals with the number seven often excel in fields that require analytical thinking and a deep understanding of complex concepts. They may be found in roles such as research, teaching, or counseling, where their ability to think critically and communicate effectively is highly valued. The number seven encourages a life of exploration, transformation, and enlightenment, reminding these individuals to embrace their quest for knowledge and use it to foster growth and understanding in themselves and others. As we approach the number eight, we encounter themes of compassion and service, central to the Buddhist concept of karuna, or compassion. Those born in years ending in eight are often driven by a desire to make a positive impact on the world. They are natural leaders and philanthropists, motivated by a sense of duty to help others and create positive change. Spiritually, the number eight is associated with abundance and the infinite potential for growth and giving, reflecting the Buddhist idea of interdependence and the importance of generosity. It symbolizes the flow of energy and resources, encouraging individuals to cultivate generosity and compassion in their interactions with others. People with this digit are often drawn to spiritual practices that emphasize service and community involvement, 
such as volunteer work, charity, or mentoring. In relationships, eights are known for their leadership and nurturing qualities. They often take on roles of responsibility and are seen as pillars of strength and support in their families and communities. Their journey involves learning to balance their desire to help others with the need for self-care and personal fulfillment, ensuring that their contributions are sustainable and enriching. This balance is crucial for maintaining their well-being and avoiding burnout, a lesson aligned with the Buddhist teaching of the Middle Way. Professionally, individuals influenced by the number eight often excel in fields that require leadership and social responsibility, such as business, politics, or social work. Their ability to inspire and motivate others makes them effective leaders, capable of driving change and creating positive outcomes. The number eight encourages a life of compassion, service, and abundance, reminding these individuals to embrace their leadership qualities and use them for the greater good. Finally, the number nine represents completion and enlightenment, reflecting the Buddhist concept of Siddhartha, or the one who has achieved the goal. Those born in years ending in nine are often on a journey of spiritual awakening, seeking to attain a higher level of understanding and wisdom. This number signifies the end of a cycle, a time for reflection and consolidation of experiences. Spiritually, the number nine is associated with the culmination of a journey and the attainment of higher consciousness akin to the Buddhist realization of Nirvana. It symbolizes the completion of a cycle and the readiness to move on to new beginnings. Individuals with this digit are often drawn to spiritual practices that emphasize enlightenment and the integration of past experiences, such as meditation, contemplation, or ritual. In relationships, nines are known for their wisdom and compassion. They are often seen as guides or mentors, offering support and guidance to those around them. Their journey involves learning to balance their role as helpers with the need to pursue their own spiritual growth and fulfillment. This balance is essential for maintaining their well-being and ensuring that their contributions to others are sustainable and enriching. Professionally, individuals influenced by the number nine often excel in fields that involve education, counseling, or spiritual guidance. Their ability to impart wisdom and inspire others makes them effective teachers and mentors, capable of helping others on their own paths to enlightenment. The number nine encourages a life of enlightenment, completion, and renewal, reminding these individuals to embrace their journey and use their insights to guide others. As we conclude our exploration of the final digit of your birth year, take a moment to reflect on what you've learned. How does your number resonate with your experiences and aspirations? Share your thoughts in the comments and let's continue this conversation. Remember, understanding these numerical insights is not just an intellectual exercise. It's a way to engage more deeply with your life's journey and navigate it with greater awareness and intention. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery. We hope this exploration has been enlightening and inspiring, offering you new tools for self-reflection and spiritual growth. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content that delves into the mysteries of life and spirit. Stay tuned for more insights and explorations that help you unlock the deeper layers of your existence.